Hey creators, C Bullock here, and today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial for beginners on how to get started with Movavi Video Editor Plus 2020 or 2021. All of the things I'll be talking about today work in both versions of this program. When you first open your program, you're going to have this option to import any of your project files. So you will want to do that first. And go ahead and click Add Files and choose any files you want to add for your video. Like choose a few things here. You can select multiple items or you can just drag in one or just choose one thing at a time and then you're going to click open. Then from there, if I want to add more, I'm going to go up here to file import and add files again. You can also choose to add a folder and I can add the entire folder's contents for a quick add of all of your project files for this particular video. Then when you have your stuff loaded in here, everything is as simple as just dragging it down to the main track. So you're gonna have one main track in this darker line here, and then you can put other tracks above it. So if I have a big video here, and we're just gonna use this black background for our video, then when I drag something else down, it's going to try to automatically put it on this main track with it, but I can drag it above to create a new video track or an overlay track that will show up on top of whatever audio or video is playing down on the main track. Everything in Movavi Video Editor is pretty much as simple as dragging it down to your track. So up here you have all of the files including sounds, music, videos, or photos that you'd like to add to your project. So I can go in, I can drag down music to the music track down here. I can drag down pictures. I can drag down any of the things from here. It also comes with some frames, which you can overlay over clips. And all of those are as simple as dragging down to your main track or your overlay track. Now, once you have it down here, if you want to make it shorter or cut it, like so if I have this video here, If I have this video here and I want to make it shorter, then I can drag the clip back. If it is a photo, you can drag it and make it last as long or as short as you'd like. Now the video, obviously I can only drag it as far as the video goes. If you want to split the clip, then you're going to use these scissors here. Make sure you have the appropriate clip selected and then click cut. You can also use Control B to cut clips. Undo is right here, so if you make a mistake, you just back it up. Oops, backed it up too far. I can redo it. Want to delete something? Here's the trash. You just delete it. And you'll notice when I deleted that main track, it deleted all of the overlays attached to it. So if I don't want it to do that, I can unlink those overlays by clicking this link button here and that will either attach it. So right now everything is attached. You can see the lines attaching it to that track. So when that gets deleted, everything goes with it. Or if it's unlinked, then it doesn't matter if I delete this track or not, they will stay put. As far as effects or adding um, filters, transitions, those are as simple as dragging as well. So I can take any of these filters and I can drag them down to the overlay track or the main video track. You cannot drag the filters to titles or stickers that will go up here. But I can drag these filters down and then it will apply it to that track. There are some filters that can be applied like you, you can apply some like multiple filters so like I can apply this filter I think with this filter but I can't apply this paper airplane filter with the ghost filter. So some of them overlap, some of them don't. You just kind of play around with it and see. Now once I've applied some effects to a track, then you can click the star button here and go in and edit any of those filters, effects, or things you want to maybe take off. So I can delete that filter and take it off there. 
transitions are the same you can also drag those down so if I have a cut here and I want to do a transition and I'll just drag it down between the two clips and it will add that transition you can't see it because it's just going black to black so we'll add this here there we go so now you can see that transition there it flashes in there's a variety of different transitions you can use you just drag down which one you like this you cannot use multiple transitions you so when I drag another transition down it will replace the previous transition you can double click your transitions to change the length and you can also change the length of the transition here titles or text is available in this tab here with the T's and again I'm just gonna drag whatever title I would like and it's gonna put it up in this top track here and then I can double click that the little purple text down here and then double click here to change that text so you can you can also go in and change your text color you can change you can add a background or an over or an outline to the text in any color and you can change the font all that stuff oh is over here once you double click it now for the volume of your music you can double click any clip to change its volume up here or you can drag this white line to change the volume directly here then we also have our stickers these you also simply drag down to your clip wherever you want it you can change the length some of them are animated some of them are not so I have some stickers here that are animated like these sketch ones these are great for tutorials you can have it highlight something say I want to highlight this fish the fish is moving though it's gonna be difficult but that fish there okay and then there's text so other than that we also have the ability to do a variety of other adjustments in this more tools tab and I can select a clip and then change the color now some of these color adjustments are only available in the 2021 version but the advanced color adjustments are available in both versions and so are these four easy auto contrast auto saturation auto white balance and magic enhance so you can do that with any clip you can add a logo so if you want like your logo down in the bottom corner you can add that you can animate things by dragging again to whatever you like so if I want my overlay to slide up and then out I can add that drag that down to the beginning and the end and it will animate the overlay you can pan and zoom so if I have like something I want to zoom in on I can drag that to the clip I want to zoom in on and adjust the point so this little point here I'll double click and I can adjust what I want it to zoom in on and then it will slowly or quickly zoom in on what you want it to in your clip uh, you can crop things so if I want to crop in on this I can click this here so I'll select the clip choose the crop option and then zoom in on it or put it wherever you want on your clip so if you want to crop something out or adjust the size of it you can do that and this will rotate your clip so if you have a clip that's sideways you want facing you want going the other way then you just rotate it real quick there once you double click any clip or video you can go in you can adjust the speed so I can make it twice as fast I can more or less fast forward you can fade in clips or out clips up here as well or even put it in reverse so there's the basics once you start doing all that there's so much you can do with Movavi Video Editor Plus it is mostly really simple to work with but some things are a little tricky to find so you just kind of have to play around if you're new to video editing just kind of drag stuff down there you really can't mess up the program unless you go into settings and start messing around with stuff and then you can always go back to rest like you can restore settings just kind of play around with stuff uh, don't go into your first project with the intent of it being perfect go into it with the intent that you're going to learn how to use the program and just kind of have fun with it. If you want more, check out the other videos on my channel. 
and I have a lot of tutorials on different specific things in Movavi Video Editor Plus and some more advanced tutorials as well. Be sure to like this video if I helped you out and subscribe for more Movavi Video Editor tips and tricks and tutorials. And we'll see you next time.